Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Jingle Bells. I'm going to do it a couple different ways. Here's the easy way. G. Da, 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 C. Da, 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 D7. Da, 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 G. Da, 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 C. Da, 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 G. And D7. repeats three times. It's like three different sets of lyrics if you want to think of it that way, that sort of thing. And so you repeat that whole form three times. It's basically a verse, you know, the dashing through the snow and the one horse opens like, and then the jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells is the uh, chorus part. So, you need a G chord. Sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, first string, third fret. You can do any G chord you want. You don't have to do that one. Uh, C chord, 2nd string, 1st fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 5th string, 3rd fret. And then I need a D7 chord, 2nd uh, string, 1st fret, 3rd string, and 1st string, 2nd fret. I'm going to get rid of the 6th string. Um, you can let the 5th string ring if it rings, it's okay. It's still it's part of the chord, it's not a big deal. Uh, A7 is our last chord, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the 6th string on that one makes it uh, smoother. Anyway, all right, so uh, the, the, the verse part is a, is a little weird. It's like G for three measures, and then C for two, and then D for two, D7 for two, and then G for one, and then you start all over again. G, you stay on the G for three more measures, so it's a little weird. So it's like a G chord, and what I was doing for a strum, you can do like just down, you could make it real simple where you just hit four strums down for each measure. So I'll try it that way first. So G, and or so and C, 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 da, da, D7, laughing all the G. back to G, D7, those share, they, those two share a measure, so it's like, uh, I just hit them like half notes, and then the Jingle Bells part is Jingle Bells of G, da 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 it's like four measures, and then C for one, G for one, and then A7, back to D7, Jingle Bells is G, da 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 and then C, back to G. So that's like the simplest way you could probably do it. I was doing something like I was going like a boom. So what I was doing was hitting the bass note and then strumming down and then every once in a while I was hitting the bass note and then strumming down up. So you know not real you can do either one you could just throw them in whenever you want so I'll try it that way. So you got G That one's, that one's harder to keep going the right hand, especially when you have to yell out the chords for you guys. <laughs> so uh, it's hard to keep it steady, but when you're just focusing on the guitar and other people are singing, it's not so bad. Um, but it is a step up from just strumming down, so it's a little harder. 
All right, so that's Jingle Bells the easy way. Now let's let's do, we're going to change the key and then soup it up a little. Bit. All right, this time I'm going to try it in the in the key of C. Uh, it's just uh, it's an arrangement I've worked out. There's some jazzier chords in here and stuff. It's a little bit more uh, complicated. So so we're gonna. times just like the last one. So let's go over uh, some of our chords. Uh, C chord, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. When I get to the F chord, I'm just going to um, go uh, second string, first fret, third string, second fret, fourth string, third fret. I'm going to wrap my thumb and grab the sixth string, first fret. Uh, you can do the baby F. You can do any F you want. All of those Fs are open. Uh, then you got a G7, first string, first fret, uh, fifth string, second fret, sixth string, third fret. That's my G7. Okay, so now we're halfway through the song, is all you need is those three chords. So let's do that part first, and then we'll talk about the, the jingle bells part. So this is the dashing through the snow. So you got the C, and you can just do the da da da. Da, 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 back to C. Da, 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 to an F. Da, 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 G7. Da, 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 C, G7. All right, now we need the chords for this, the Jingle Bells part. Uh, it's a C chord, you know. Then you're going to go to a C slash B. It's a walking bass, like a little bass line underneath it we've created. So. We're going to go to the, uh, hold down the 2nd string 1st fret still, but then go to the 5th string 2nd fret, just for a moment. I'm going to mute the 4th string with the back of my finger here, and just those, that's all I got. Okay, then we're going to go to an A minor 7, which is simple. We're going to keep the 1st finger down on the 2nd string 1st fret and move over to the 4th string 2nd fret. We're going to use the 5th string as our bass. Then I'm going to do an A minor 7 slash G. I'm going to move, I'm going to leave those two fingers down and uh, so it's a second string first fret, the fourth string second fret, and add the sixth string third fret. That's going to be the G underneath it. Then I'm going to do that again. And then my next chord, instead of the A minor 7 slash G, I'm going to do a C7 slash G. So I'm going to again leave these two right here. Second string first fret, fourth string second fret. I'm going to add the 6th string 3rd fret, just like I did, but now I'm going to add the pinky on the 3rd string 3rd fret. That's a C7 slash G, and that pulls me to an F chord, and then, uh, let's see, C chord. Now I need an A minor 7, we already got that one, but we need a D7 chord. 2nd string 1st fret, 3rd string 2nd fret, 1st string 2nd fret. Then I'm going to go to an F slash G. Two of your fingers are in the right spot. So second string first fret, third string second fret. I'm going to bring this guy all the way to the sixth string third fret and add the fourth string third fret. So that one, that's in a lot of like Carole King, uh, Elton John type songs, you know, piano songs. <clears throat> that's my F slash G. Then we need a G7 chord. You can leave that guy down. Sixth string third fret, fifth string second. First string, uh, first fret. Actually, I've already given you this chord, sorry. <laughs> That's a G7, sorry. All right, uh, what else do we need? Uh, we did the D7. Okay, the next chord you're going to come across that you don't have is you're going to bar the whole, uh, the, the first three strings at the third fret, 
and then your thumb's going to grab the sixth string first fret. While you're grabbing that, you're muting the fifth string, but I want the open fourth string. That's an F minor six. Beautiful chord. Then I'm going to go to a C major seven, fifth string second fret, fourth string second, uh, no, fifth string third fret, fourth string second fret, and open top three strings. Then I need a C sharp diminished seven. Fifth string, fourth fret. Third string, third fret. Fourth string, fifth fret. Second string, fifth fret. I'm going to mute the outside strings on that one. That's the toughest chord in the song. Last but not least, we need a D minor seven. We're going to borrow the top two strings at the first fret, and then the third string, second fret. Okay, that's my D minor seven. Okay, so this part is the jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to So, C, C slash B. A minor 7, A minor 7 with the G in the bass. Again, C, C slash B, A minor 7, C7 slash G. Notice I was using the bass notes and then strumming the chords. Then an F chord for 2, and then C for 1, A minor 7 for 1, D7 for 2, and then the F slash G. I just kind of strum that once, and then the G7 once, and then the C slash. C chord, C slash B, A minor 7, A minor 7 slash G, C again, C slash B, A minor 7, then the C7 slash G, F for 1, F minor 6 for 1, C major 7 for 1, C sharp diminished 7, and then the D minor 7, the G7, and then the C twice, if you want to repeat or you could just end it, depending on where you are in the song. Okay? So my bass notes for like a C, it's the fifth string. For the F, it's the sixth string. For the G7, it's the sixth string. Uh, the C slash B is the fifth string. A minor seventh fifth. A minor seven slash G is the sixth string. Uh, other questions you might have, C7 slash G is the sixth string. Uh, the D7 would be the fourth string. That sort of thing. Uh, let's see. F to the F minor 6 is a 6th string. C major 7 is a 5th string. C sharp diminished 7 is a 5th string. D minor 7 is a 5th string. G 7 is a 6th. Okay? So that's it. That's the complicated way. <laughs> Let me run through it one more time. Mm, C. Da -da -da, back to C. Da -da -da, back to F. Da -da -da, G7. Da -da -da, C, G7. I'm going to slow this part down. So, G. Guitar. Thanks for watching. And um, oh, jingle bells! I got the jingle bells somewhere. Where are they? We forgot the jingle bells. <laughs>